these are our basic angle facts. So angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. If I have two lines that cross, the vertically opposite angles formed are equal. And finally, angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. If we know these properties, we can solve a lot of different problems to do with angles. Let's have a look at this first property. Angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So in this first example, if I want to find angle X, I add up the two angles that I know, 40 and 20, which is 60, and I subtract that from 180 which gives me 180 take away 60, which is 120 degrees. So I can say x is equal to 120 degrees. In the second question here, we have 90 degrees, and then we have two lots of the angle z. So 180 take away 90 is 90, so I can say that z plus z is equal to 90. So 2z is 90, so if I want 1z, I need to divide by 2. So z is just 45 degrees. Finally, we have 90 degrees here. Uh, 30 degrees and y has got to be 90 degrees. So I can say y equal, or y plus 30 equals 90. So y needs to be 70 degrees. Here are some practice questions for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. So A should be 30, B should be 20, no it shouldn't be, uh, B should be 45 degrees, and C should be 20 degrees. And lastly, in the last question, C should be 180 divided by 3, which is 60 degrees. Angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. If we look at this first question, if I want to find A, you might notice already it's going to be 160. But we could also do, um, add up the angles we know, so 160 plus 20 plus 20, which is going to be 200. We can then subtract 200 from 360 to get 160, which is A. So A is 160 degrees. In the second question, uh, we add up all of the angles we know. So we have 120 plus 30 plus 50 plus 120. So that's 150, 200, 320. To get B, we need to do 360 take away 320, which is 40 degrees. Finally, to get C, we know that the angles we know are 60, 90, and 110. We add these up. So we have um, right, 260. To get Y, uh, to get C, sorry, we need to do 360 take away 260, which is 100. So C is 100 degrees. Finally, we want to find angles A and B here, so please pause the video now and have a go, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. So A should be um, 185 degrees, and B should be 80 degrees. Lastly, well not lastly actually, but uh, vertically opposite angles are equal. So if you draw two straight lines, you form two pairs of mutually equal sides. So here, if we look at the first one, we can see x and 40 are opposite. So I can say x equals 40 degrees. And I can say y and 140 are opposite. So y is equal to 140 degrees. Remember, this only works if you have two straight lines that cross. We couldn't, we couldn't use this property in, say, this question. So if I just draw, so we've got a straight line and there's like a sort of bend. You couldn't say that this angle here equals this here. That wouldn't work. 
Uh, if you look at the second question then, A needs to be 50 degrees, and then B and C are equal to each other. Now there's different ways to get B. We could notice that there's a straight line here. So to get B, we do 180 take away 50, which is 130. And then we should notice that C is opposite to this, so C is also 130 degrees. Here are some quick questions for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go. And when you're ready for the answers or the missing, ang the missing angles, press play. Okay, here are the answers. A should be 30 degrees. And then same trick as before, B and C should both be 150 degrees. And then for the next question, E should be 20, F should be 110. And then to work out um, D and G, they're both 50. Finally, angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So in the first question, we want to work out A. So we add up the angles we know, 50 and 35, which is 85, and then we subtract this from 180. So I do 180 take away 85, which is going to be 95. Um, so I can say that A is equal to 95 degrees. In the second question, we have an isosceles triangle because both of these two sides are equal. That's what the straight lines mean. So this is isosceles. So <clears throat> because this is an isosceles triangle, we know that B and C have got to be the same. So, to work out B and C, I'm going to do 180 take away 120, which is 60 degrees, and then I split this equally between B and C, so I just divide it by 2, which will give me 30 degrees. So I can say B and C are both 30 degrees. Finally, we have an equilateral triangle, because all three sides are the same. This means that all of the angles inside are the same too. So we know that D, E, and F add up to 180, and they're all equal. So to work out one of them, I just need to divide 180 by 3, which is 60 degrees. So that's what D, E, and F are going to be. Here are some questions for you to try. I'd like you to find the missing angles indicated by letters. When you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. So A, to work out A, I'm going to do 25 plus 55. These are the angles I know, so 70, that's going to be 55, 60, 75, 80. 80 degrees. To work out A, um, this is very, very badly drawn, as you can see, 70. So to work out A, I need to do 180, take away 80, which gives me 100 degrees. And um, for the one on the right, I have 90 plus 60, that's 150. Subtract that from 180, and we get 30 degrees for B. And lastly, we have an equilateral triangle, so all of the angles inside are 60 degrees. To work out C, we notice that it's on a straight line with 60. So to work out C, I need to do 180 take away 60, because angles in a straight line add up to 180. So that is 120 degrees. And lastly, we can see that we have an isosceles triangle. So D needs to be 80 because in an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. I add up the angles I now know, 80 plus 80, 160. And I take that away from 180 and I get 20. So we can see that E is 20 degrees.